Let's now speak to Arsalan Iftikhar. He's a human rights lawyer and senior fellow at Georgetown University, joining us from Washington, D.C. Good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. So a lot of people are saying that the message that Trump has sent out after taking this decision is that the U.S. doesn't abide by international law and the U.S. just simply doesn't care for countless U.N. resolutions. Uh, to what extent do you agree with that or do you see it differently? Well, first of all, Darian, I think that uh, Donald Trump could probably not even point out the city of Jerusalem on a map. Uh, this was a completely political move on his part, where essentially he is uh, bending over to the whims of his right-wing evangelical Christian base here in the United States. If you look at the responses from every major uh, world leader out there, from Pope Francis to German Chancellor Angela Merkel to British Prime Minister Theresa May to French Prime Minister Emmanuel Macron, uh, they've all condemned his unilateral move, uh, saying that it's in violation of international law and United Nations resolutions, and that they don't support it. And so, you know, I, I hope that Palestinians and uh, people worldwide will see that, uh, you know, a, a unilateral move like this uh, from a charlatan like Donald Trump uh, is not indicative of global uh, response or feelings towards the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. But I wonder how that will go down in Israel, because this just seems to have given uh, Netanyahu's government carte blanche to do uh, whatever they want, basically, in Jerusalem. Yeah, that's a good point, Darin. I think it's important for your viewers to remember that the city of Jerusalem is a city that is holy to all three major uh, Abrahamic religions today. It is for Jewish people the city where David ruled, for Christians it is the city where Jesus taught, and for 1.7 billion Muslims it is the city where our beloved Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. Uh, you know, the United Nations has specifically uh, categorized Jerusalem as, quote, a cor uh, as a corpus separatum, uh, which is a separate entity uh, that is going to, uh, that should be resolved in any final status political uh, negotiations between Israel and Palestine. And I think, and I fear that uh, the, the Donald Trump's unilateral uh, suggestion here is really going to, uh, you know, be the death knell for any two-state solution. And I think many people will start to consider, you know, what a one, one state uh, by national state uh, might look like for Israel, Israelis and Palestinians. You rightly point out that the city of Jerusalem is so important for the three uh, major religions, but is there a concern now that as a con consequence of this decision, then the holy sites are going to be affected in Jerusalem, and not only the Muslim holy sites, but the Christian sites as well? Yeah, and, and, I th and you're absolutely right, Darin, and I think that that's why it's, it's essential, uh, you know, that any... Um, than any final status uh, resolution to Jerusalem, particularly East Jerusalem. Uh, you know, most people don't remember that uh, East Jerusalem before 1967 was uh, controlled by the Arabs. It was controlled by Jordan uh, until the Six Day War in 1967 when uh, Israel, uh, Israel won it over, but the United Nations had decided from that point on that uh, all the holy sites within Jerusalem uh, and East Jerusalem would be a corpus uh, separatum under international law. And so again, I think that cooler heads should prevail. I think that world leaders uh, like France and Germany and the United Nations and the Pope uh, need to continue to speak out and, and hopefully, uh, you know, undo, uh, you know, a unilateral move here by the United States. Okay. Uh, Arsalan Iftikhar, we thank you very much for joining us on Al Jazeera. Thank you.